Hi guys, this is your boy Alan Obi, the billionaire. Today we are in Canix, Canix Creation. You can check out his channel. It's a comedy channel, so you, when you are in depression or sad moments, you can laugh. This is your boy Alan Obi, the billionaire. And the good thing with promoting your friends is because as friends, you have to create a good partnership with the people around you. So Canix, the producer is my friend, so we always help each other. That's why he can't charge me when we are doing video production. But now this brings in our topic where we want to evaluate why creatives are not paid enough in Kenya. You know, as a creative person or content creator, we face a lot of challenges coming up with ideas, evaluating, scrutinizing everything until production. Then you find a client giving you an excuse after you have done the job that probably the job is no good but you were with him or her in the whole process. Why did you not make changes at the early stages? Many people end up doing freebies because you are being promised heaven and nobody's giving you the hell. For me, I have always said, don't promise me the heaven when I haven't seen the hell. Please, if we agree for payment, a certain amount of money, before I give you a job, make sure you pay me my money because the amount of hours we also put in those uh, kind of jobs is a lot many people out here they are doing pro bonos people are not being paid influencers they want to do jobs not what they are not what they are value because of just keeping the bills going on for me if you feel that th th there's the thing where most agencies in Kenya they feel like that's too expensive but why do you how do you define expensive what's expensive for you it's not expensive to another person if the job is worth fifty thousand, and it's expensive for you what's your budget because there's no need of complaining or not paying people because you feel it's expensive yet the job has been done many people are complaining some has been editing videos for other people and the people are not paying him i do design jobs other people don't want to pay. But the amount of money, we, uh, the amount of time we spend there, look, we have electricity bills, we have machine repairs, we have our food we need to eat, we need to sustain our life. So if I spend a week doing your job, then you don't pay me within that week, within our agreement, then what do you expect? How do you expect me to, to survive? I won't go online to fight you because for me, I always feel like if we agree offline, why should I go online and trash your name? The thing is always, people will always say have paper agreement. Yes, sometimes you feel like this is the client or this is the person I've been working with. And you know, at the moment we have what we call online systems. Things are happening online. There's no need of me meeting you. We can have the discussion via Zoom or call, WhatsApp call. And then once we agree, I'm ready to go. Yes, the challenge will be, why did you not ask for a down payment? Let's say I never asked for a down payment. It doesn't give you an obligation not to pay me because we already agreed the amount of money. If we agreed 50,000, if I don't ask for 25,000 down payment, then just pay me my 50,000 at the end of the job because we are creating what we call uh, repetition. Repetition is making sure that we don't tarnish our name when doing this work. So if we agree on that, on those terms and basis, there's no need for you not to pay me or after rendering my services to you. Let's just have a mutual agreement that you pay creative people in this kind of... And funny thing, especially creative people in agents, they're always treated as the least expected people in those companies. I don't know why. There, many people will feel like the funny thing, if you have been a sales and marketing agent, the sales people are always paid a tremendous amount of money and I, I think I'm trained to be a salesperson so that I can earn good money. Then, the creative people are always treated like uh, those are people who just need to be paid an uh, average amount of money. But those creative people are the ones who spend a lot of time in office they transist, they don't go to sleep, and majority are always depressed because the amount of work that comes in, the overload, is heavy. 
And for me, did I quit or not? I think I, I am I employed? Okay, maybe I'm on break. Because the workload that we face during this process, after the salespeople have brought in work, versus the amount of money we are being paid, the value is not equivalent. So this is just my word for the creative people and the people owning companies that they feel uh, agencies, the directors, CEOs, and these big companies that will want freebies. No, don't do that. We want to pay our bills and we want to live a comfortable life. We don't want to struggle. We have crisis already, Corona is there. So if you add another crisis to us, then it's not, it's not right. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video if you can relate to it because this is just an open discussion. And keep in mind, this doesn't apply in creative industry only. Other industries, health sector, uh, businesses, everywhere, if you feel like you are undervalued. I saw a lady complain that she's being paid 4,000 a month. 4,000! How do you survive on 4,000 shini? Even for one day, you can't. Some people can't even survive on 4,000. And the lady is being paid 4,000 for a whole month. That one day is. That's crazy. It's not worth it. So people should know the value of people. If you feel like you are not able to pay the people, then do the job. 4,000 is not worth the project. Peace. Alano B, the billionaire. Subscribe, share, like our videos, comment. Let's interact. Let's grow. And you know what? We shall grow. Five years from now, we shall share the testimonials here. Peace.